Hello and welcome. Today we're doing a question from Leak Code called FizzBuzz. It's easy. Let's get started. Given an integer n, return a string array answer, one indexed, where answer of i equals FizzBuzz if i is divisible by both 3 and 5. It's just equal to fizz if i is divisible by 3, buzz if it's divisible by 5, and it's just i as a string itself if none of the above conditions are true. So example one, we have n equals three, and we wanna go from n equals one to three inclusive. So we're gonna hit one, two, and three. One and two are just the string indices themselves, but three is of course divisible by three, and so we have fizz in its place. Example two, we go from one to five, and the first three are gonna be the same right here. Four is divisible by neither three nor five, so it's just the string form of four. And buzz is divisible by five, so we have buzz for five. And last example, we have n equaling 15, so we're going from one all the way to index 15. Now here at every single index that we have that is divisible by three, so three, six, nine, 12 and 15, we're definitely going to have fizz. We might also have buzz if it's divisible by both three and five, but if it's divisible by three, it definitely has fizz. And same with buzz, right? So anytime we see index five or a multiple of it, so five, 10 and 15, we're gonna have buzz. And 15 is a special case, is divisible by both three and five. So any multiple that we see of 15, so 15, 30, 45, we're gonna have both fizz and buzz together. Otherwise, all the other indices will just be the indices themselves in string form. So this is pretty simple and straightforward. What we wanna do is have an output array initialized for what we wanna return. So output is going to be empty to begin with. And now we wanna loop through from one to index n inclusive. So for i in range, one and n inclusive, which means we want to go to n plus one. We just want to make a check on every index that we're on. So if i is divisible by three, so if i mod three equals zero, which just means that if I were to divide by three and my remainder is equivalent to zero, that means it's a multiple of three, well then I'm going to set my answer to be fizz. If it is also divisible by five, so within the same if condition, if i mod five equals zero, then answer plus equals buzz. We're just adding buzz to the end of our answer because being divisible by both three and five means you are divisible by 15 and we want fizz buzz for that. If it is not divisible by three, well now we wanna make a check if it's divisible by just five, so elif, i mod 5 equals 0. In this case, answer will just be buzz. Finally, if none of these are true, so it's not divisible by 3 or by 5, well then I want my answer to just be i in string form. And what am I going to do at the end of all of my conditions? I'm going to append this to my output. So output dot append my answer. And outside of this for loop, all I have to do is return output. So let's go ahead and run this code. It's accepted and submit it. And it's accepted as well. So talking super quickly about space and time. For this approach, we're going through our entire input n. So that's gonna be linear. O of n and same with space, we're keeping an output array as big as the number of elements that we have. So as big as n, so space would also be O of n. And just to see, you know, what our output is printing, we can actually also print output before we return. And we can see for three, we have one, two, and fizz, and we can test it out for um, let's say 30, and we should see that every index that is a multiple of three has fizz. Let's see here. And every index that's divisible by five has buzz. Otherwise, we have fizz buzz, and we should see two of those, one for 15 and one for 30. 
So if you have any questions at all, let me know down below. Otherwise, I will see you next time.